dominion status. You are the first person that has mentioned the words in decades, in terms of Wales and in terms of Scotland and in terms of the constitution of the United Kingdom. Now, you flatter me. If well, but it's true. It's true. Look, if I, I, true, I'm a big devolutionist and have been all my life. If that's true, it's a great pity. <laughs> well, it is a pity. Yes. Because I've been a devolutionist all my life and I've never, ever uttered the words. I never, ever understood what was being said. You're the first man and you raise it again this week in the House of Lords. Now, tell us, first of all, what do you mean? What does dominion status mean? Dominion status is not a rigid, iron-bound plan. So that you can say, that's it. And those are its dimensions and its shape. Yeah. Not that at all. It's a principle. It's a principle that ties a former British territory to the um, United Kingdom by way of the fact that the Queen is still regarded as the titular head of state. Yeah. That's the common multiple, as it were. Having said that, dominion status means different things at different times, in different situations. The history of dominion status is that uh, although the Act of 1931, the Statute of Westminster, spelt out the principles, the liberality of dominion status had already well developed. If anybody asked me what counted most, what counted most was the First World War. South Africa, New Zealand, Australia and Canada all declared war on Germany on the same date, on the very first day of war without anybody asking them. Yeah. So it's not something that has been created by, by statute. The statute only recognised the rich and varied development that had taken place, and which has taken place, of course, in the 85 years yes. since. Yes, and most of the colonies became got dominion status? Yes, well, no, uh, that's a different matter, but um, dominion status, uh, in, in fact, is extremely flexible and has tremendous possibilities. So how would you see it applying in relation to Wales and well, Scotland? Certainly not uh, as a replica of New Zealand and Australia's situation at all. But where we would be a largely um, individualistic uh, nation within the United Kingdom, partners, respected partners, no longer regarded as um, the colony that we are treated as uh, at the moment. <coughs> and I think that um, it would be a healthy basis. I'm not saying that it's of necessity the one thing to aim for. It's something we should be talking about and thinking Do about. Do you see it deeply. happening, therefore, that Scotland and Wales and Northern Ireland, because they've got their own parliaments, that they should have dominion status? Is that how you see it? I would put it in this way. <clears throat> we live in a changing world. Who knows what the situation will be five or ten years from now? <coughs> we are in a state of immense flux. It may be five years from now that Scotland will have become totally independent. That, of course, opens a whole new ball game. Nothing much can happen to Scotland without it affecting Wales. When the um, Prime Minister in the grey dawn after the um, Scottish vote came outside number 10 and said, Wales is at the very heart of, of devolution. If he meant that, then it really means that we're in there, in the swim. We should be thinking big. Yeah. If you think small, you'll even get smaller things. Now, since you mentioned dominion status, I have made two or three speeches in Yes Cymru rallies yeah. alluding to it. And I get a feeling sometimes that the the hard nationalist people think it is not good enough. What would be your answer to them now in relation to dominion status vis-a-vis -vis independence? Dominion status is not a model, it's a range. Now, if you were to ask that man, what do you think of um, the position that Australia has in that range? Well, Australia is about as independent as it could possibly be. Yes. It's still a dominion status. Yes. But uh, you could have a situation where indeed dominion status was, was something more confined yeah. than Australia. And it's a matter of common sense. Here we are, bound 
body and soul, as it were, uh, to England, our situation would have to be rather different. Yeah. See, I re I read the but debate. But it would enable us to play a full part yes. in the life of the United yeah. Kingdom. I think you have raised something mm -hmm. which the government, the establishment, finds a bit awkward. Because you have raised, raised something that is in existence, it has happened, and it does work, and you had Lord David Wigley supporting you, yes, oh, and, yes. and uh, Bourne wasn't, Bourne in answering you was, was nebulous about the whole thing. Well, I think you've, you've put them in a bit of a trap, actually, because it is something that is feasible. It wasn't meant to be a, a trap in, in any way at all. It's an open secret that 10 years ago, after many, many, many years of discontent between Spain and the United Kingdom. Yeah. They very nearly came to an agreement on the basis of, of uh, Gibraltar having to be set. Really? Yeah. And if those enmities could be ironed out in such a way, the power of Dominion status to be flexible and to be pliable is immense. Yeah. So the debate for the future? You've opened, you've opened a massive debate, haven't I, you? I'm not saying it has to be this. What I'm saying is think about it. Think big. Think big. And you don't think people think big enough? No. We've been grasping for crumbs from the table of our masters too long. On devolution? Yes. And accepting anything that goes? If you ask for small things, then if you think small, then you'll get small things and probably smaller things than you set out. And do you reckon that's where Wales table. has been for 20, 30 years? Yes, to a large extent. We've been getting little dribs and drabs of devolution, confetti. And uh, our position is still very uncertain and perilous. We yeah. have to think more in terms of a mature nation. To well, I tell you what, heart. it's been a great privilege for me to have acquainted myself again with Alastair after all these years. And he's kindled in me and he's kindled in himself. We are still there. Come here, Karen. Bendit and okay. Yeah. Do you know